In this episode, our visit to Gdynia is hampered by both the weather and technical difficulties. We reveal one of P&O's hidden secrets and the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations begin on board. As we went to breakfast on the morning of the 2nd of June, it was obvious that things were starting to happen around the ship, cakes appearing and posters. We were really quite excited about this because in the past P&O have always done such a fine job of celebrating royal and military occasions. Today we were in Gdynia and as the weather forecast was a little dodgy we decided to go ashore fairly early so we caught the shuttle and headed into town. It was soon after this that I realised I hadn't changed the SD card of my camera and therefore I was unable to take any footage. So here we are in sunny Gdynia for a nice change. <laughs> no rain, but it's really good. No um, rain, but the clouds are coming over. Clouds are coming over and it's full, it's full of children. Yeah. So we have all these sort of plans to go to the boat and maybe the aquarium and things like that. It's and full of kids. It's full of kids, so we can't do it. We think it's some sort of holiday or something, but not to worry. School trip day or School trip day something. or something, yeah. But we were coming along... Uh, coming along the quayside and we saw this boat and it reminded me of our friend Anne. And so, there it is. So this is uh, the ship and of course on the front is a dragon. So Anne, this one's for you. <laughs> so this is the port of Virginia and we've been out into town once this morning and came back for technical reasons. Um, and now we're in, as you can see, there's nice sunny blue sky over there but the other way is a lot of grey and to be quite honest it's absolutely hammering down with rain at the moment yeah timing was perfect yeah i mean the captain said that um expect showers expect thundery showers and yeah well, he yeah. was right yeah All no right. thunder yeah so we think we'll just wait for the rain to abate and then pop Good. back into town See if we can avoid the children. See if we can avoid the children and see if we can find a very wet Janet and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> as they were just going out as we were coming back. So, uh... so Lindsay, we've come back into town again now, haven't we? As the rain had stopped. Yeah. And what happened on the way here? Hailstorm. Hailstorm. And now what? Um, well, it's still bucketing with rain. And thunder. And the thunder started thunder to come started. Out. So we'll go for a little stroll anyway, because um, we're stupid like that. And there's this like um, monument or something over here that looks quite nice. I'm not sure what all this one's about, but we will see. Ah, so it's a war memorial. You got lover? Depends how far you want to walk in the rain. Well, it's not actually raining too hard at the moment. I think it's stopping again. But Have you taken a look at the clouds? No, because I've got my hood on. <laughs> <laughs> the one's coming behind us with the thunder. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm looking in a positive direction. So down here, it's beautiful, nice sort of walkway, isn't it? Yeah. So if we find... Uh, Find a little cafe or... Oh, there's the thunder again. No, it wasn't. It was somebody shutting the van door. Was it? All right. So if we find a, a little far. bar or cafe down here, and go in and try and sample the local beverages. Why not? Good idea? Yeah. So, Lindsay, we now <laughs> do one of our favourite things that we love to do in Poland. Yes? Oh, here comes the rain again. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know if you're still here. <laughs> Oh, it's the hail. That is hail. It's what? Hail. Oh, hail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good hail. And the thunder is getting worse, but do we care? Because... Beer. Yeah, local beer. Beer, yeah, local beer. <laughs> You'll have to put your microphone up higher. Anyway. Cross. So here we are in Gdynia. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry about the noise at the moment. But, um, here we go. It's a bit wet. Um, the thunder's coming down a bit. Um, we 
we've got a, a waterfall. <laughs> right, I'll move around. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, the local waterfall we have here, and it's very beautiful. And it's, it's hailing inside now. <laughs> it's hailing inside, it's coming through the roof over there. Um, but do we care, Lindsay? Because we have local beer. Cheers. Ooh, getting a wet leg and it's very nice. Poor old granddad's up there fixing the roof. <laughs> you can only laugh, can't you? Oh look at out there now. Ah, see? Turned out nice again. <laughs> So we're just having a little stroll now. We've had a few beers and some chips, haven't we? Very nice it was two too. Two beers? Yeah. Only, and two. Only two. Each. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Tisky. Um, so we've done that and, and now Lindsay had to leave the bar because she was getting scared, weren't you? Oh, I didn't like that seagull. Getting terrified for her own life. Oh, yeah. Um, so we've come back out now and it's part of the... Um, Maritime Museum here, I think. So, if I just turn you around a minute. They've got all these lovely old ships here. So there's that one there. There's a naval one down the bottom that was commissioned in 1937. Um, and is still part of the Navy today, isn't it? It seems like it, yeah. It's quite strange. So, we'll go a bit further on and see what else we can find. After another mediocre dinner in the main dining room with some very strange concoctions for puddings, we decided to try one of this Jubilee cocktails, which turned out really nice. While we were being served at dinner that evening, we found out that our waitress had a wonderful talent for singing. So Cherish, here's your chance to shine. I've included the link to her YouTube channel in the description, as I'm sure you'll wish to enjoy some more of her beautiful voice. You are the song that makes me happy when everything else turns to grey. Yours is the voice that wakes me morning and sends me out into the day. You are the crowd that sits quiet, listening to me. Then all the good love long goes. You are one of the few things worth remembering. And since it's all true, how could any time the look up in? Has you The show in that theatre that evening was Applause, which is one of our favourites. An excellent show, but due to copyright, we're unable to show you any clips. Our next day on board was a sea day, so other than all our usual activities like choir and the deck sports and a few drinks, they actually started the activities for the Jubilee celebrations. To say we were rather underwhelmed was a bit of an overstatement. I mean, not a Union Jack flag in sight when you compare it to what was going on to the Princess ships and MSC ships, and they aren't even British. We thought it's not a problem, P&O will get it right in the end and show the pageant parade on the big screen in the theatre. But unfortunately, nothing. So for those of you who are on board ship and actually miss what was going on back in London, Here's a little clip of what was taking part with an entry put in by our local town and maybe even I had some small contribution to the construction of the cart. Well Lindsay, so I see you're celebrating the Queen's um, 
Jubilee Sea drink. And what have you got tonight? I've got a gin martini. Gin martini. And it's so, it's shaken, not stirred. Oh, go for it. See what it's like. <laughs> oh, is strong. it not nice? It's all right. Yeah? It's a bit strong. Strong. Mm. What? Like. Blow your socks off strong. Blow your socks off, but but yeah, yeah. So does that some... mean you'll have another one? Or two, maybe? No. Yeah. No. You'd be good for the quiz later. <laughs> no, I'd be useless. For... <laughs> Even more useless, I wouldn't be able to write. Yeah, you <laughs> he said, yes, a man of bad time was. He said, brilliant, because we're studying the Second World War at school. He said, have you got any mementos? So we showed him his medals. He said, brilliant, granddad. Anything else? So we showed him his ration books. He said, granddad, this is amazing. Have you got anything else? He said, well, as a matter of fact, I have got one of those old army greatcoats. He said, Grandad, that's brilliant. Where is it? He said, it's upstairs in the loft over the tank. He said, you haven't got a tank. <laughs> <laughs> After a few more drinks and another failed attempt at the quiz, it was time for bed. If you've enjoyed watching us get soaked in this video, please subscribe to the channel. You never know, you might see us get wet somewhere else. Oh, and hit the like button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get told about every time we get soaked.